when and where to limit homeless camping. Austin's mayor says more specific details such as street names and neighborhoods would be nice. But he calls recommendations the city manager released today a good starting point. Spencer Cronk's memo recommends restricting camping in areas with high foot traffic. Here's an example he provided. So places where e-scooters and e-bikes aren't allowed to be parked. He says medians, intersection islands, and flood-prone areas should also be off-limits. KXAN's Eugene Cho spoke with Mayor Adler today about what happens next. Mayor Steve Adler agrees with what's outlined in the memo. It's reasonable, I think, for us to say people shouldn't be camping on medians or, or uh, islands. He's now hoping the city council can come up with an actual list of streets or areas where homeless camping should be limited. Adler told us one of many factors he'll consider is a map like this. It shows where the city had banned bicycling on sidewalks, included our Congress Avenue 6th Street and Guadalupe Street by UT. Adler says the transportation department is in the process of updating this, but he's curious. What kind of criteria are you applying for dismount zones? My hope is we can bring in some of that, maybe that same list or the same criteria uh, to be able to be, to be used. At the same time, Adler suggests storage lockers for homeless people. That's something he saw some West Coast cities use. You know, one of the challenges that we have in this city is that it's really hard for people experiencing homelessness to keep track of their stuff. And I'm so glad he said that. Greg McCormick with Front Steps told us the harsh reality is homeless people lose any of their stuff left unattended. Almost immediately. Yeah, I mean, people are watching. They see if something, and there may be nothing of value in there, but they're going to go through it. Adler wants to keep looking at longer-term solutions like lockers as council focuses on camping restrictions in the days ahead. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. We expect to see the council discuss some specific camping limitations at their September 19th meeting, but until then, they'll likely be swamped with budget talks. People who are homeless live between 20 to 30 years less than the average person. That's according to the National Coalition for the Homeless. They say the average life expectancy for someone without permanent housing is only about 50 years old. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say it may be because people experiencing homelessness are at a greater risk of infectious and chronic illnesses, poor mental health, and substance abuse. This week, the Department of Housing and Urban Development announced $75 million to help end youth homelessness. Waco and San Antonio are among the 23 communities that will get money. It'll help provide housing options for homeless people who are younger than 25. HUD Secretary Ben Carson says he recognizes the concern and wants to provide security for young people living without a permanent home. 